Bukan Jaina. We both feel. Four years. Four years. Yeah. yeah, that's when you started. Yeah. It's really weird, actually, because like us three have never hung out. Just us three. It's always Deasia has always been like our connector <laughs> between us three, which is really weird. Like it's like, <laughs> it's, like it's like us two in Deasia, us two in Deasia, you three in Deasia, and it's like she's like our connector of all of it. She was like friends, like she was friends with you, and then like. And then it was like just friends with me, and then like just friends with me. And, and then, then we all of a sudden, like two years ago, it was like us four. That's crazy. But we're, <laughs> yeah, we're so alike. We just hung out. I liked um. Oh, that was fun. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Yeah, that we, was fun. We went to Goodwill and we all picked out like, like I picked out um, I think outfit for Aaron. Yeah, I picked out outfit for Aaron. Aaron <laughs> wore it on <laughs> yeah, she did. forever. So like we had to go and like make outfits for each other. And then and we went and took pictures at night time. Yes. Oh, that, that was fun. That, that was really that fun. was fun. And then we all bought some silk pajama pants and wore them to the Christmas yeah, party. And wore them the Christmas so. party. One thing about Aaron is how, for some reason, how well she, everyone like gets along with her. Like I feel like, especially at the studio, all the kids love Aaron. All the Federation people love Aaron. All the coaches have always loved Aaron. And it's kind of like, it was one of the things like, wow, I feel like Aaron can just walk into a room and people are like, Aaron, can I tell you this? Aaron, can I tell you that? And she's made so many friendships like gotten close to so many people that I have I've never really got the opportunity to get close to like younger kids and but she has and I, I value that of her that she she can really make friends with anybody which is something that I struggle with. I'm gonna I should say Dana because only because we have a lot in common. Our brains have linked recently and we can talk for a while about anything and I just like how open it is. I'll pick Jada. <laughs> really, we gotta get to we gotta get that one here so <laughs> um I think about you how hard you work for everything. Like you don't what like, you don't like to just be given stuff and I like how everything that you have all your accomplishments that you've worked so hard for. And I would love to have that work method. Oh, oh like um, all four, I, all of us on the same team? Okay, yeah. so. I don't even remember the first year. And the lyrical. Junior small. Hip hop. Okay. Junior pop. small, junior, junior large. Those two hip hop dances. Okay. He's the person so to go to for this. Photographic memory. Wait, so what team were you on? I remember this one. <laughs> <laughs> This yeah, because so, this because then we have a showcase, and then we have we're gonna do a round Halloween show, like, some show, <laughs> summer yeah. show, Halloween. You too. know, I'm gonna get like zombies. Yeah, it's in in the in the past four years. In the past four years that we've all been on a team together, that's like not even counting the four years that us like just us four have literally probably been like a hundred something like yeah. literally like, no exaggeration yeah. <gasps> so like, it was Snoop Dogg it was Snoop Dogg it was um oh um my first ever Montana. 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 yeah that Montana. was that was mine <laughs> Like, Corona graduation? Yeah. 
I got an email this morning that it's like a questionnaire and I haven't done it yet, but I'm really, I'm gonna be upset if it's asking if we wanna do it virtually, cause I don't at all. Our graduate, they sent out an email, like a question yeah. thing to, to us, and they want us to um, dress in our cap and gown and sit in our passenger seat while our parents drive us up to the school to grab our yeah. diploma and then roll the window up and leave. I just, I, th I just think it's sad because it's like you, like you worked for your entire school career for this one moment. Like this is the only thing I'm looking for. Cause like, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not the biggest school person. I'm, I haven't, I've done pretty well. I'm just not that intrigued by it. So it's like this one thing that I've been wanting my entire life and it's just gone. So. And like it, especially with us, because like we go to the same school, but Aaron doesn't go to our school. So it's like me and Dana, like going to support Aaron at her graduation, and Aaron coming to support us at our graduation. It, it was like it's one of those moments that you really appreciate that we all have something in common, but with different people and with different teachers and everything. Because here, everything's the same. We have the same friends, we have the same coaches, we teach the same kids, we perform at the same places. Like with school, like she knows so many people we don't know and we know so many people she doesn't know. And it's like those that encouraging thing of we're going to support you in the other lifestyle that you have here besides dance and you're going to support us in the lifestyle that we have other than dance. And now that it's not there, it's kind of like... I feel like with it being cut short, I would probably just change the way like I've acted with people, like how I'm not the happiest all the time. I tend to like my relationships get kind of negative because I can be kind of negative. So I wish I would have just like been more positive with people because there's a chance I'm never gonna see them again. Like I didn't realize, I never thought it was gonna actually go by this fast. Like they tell you, like <laughs> it's gonna fly <laughs> by, and you're like whatever. And like I literally was in my classroom like on the last day, and I was like, I swear, like I felt like I was a freshman yesterday. Like it's insane. So I think if I could, so yeah, like I could have, if I could have changed anything, it would have been just like like that. Probably the thing I regret that I would do differently is holding on to friendships that I don't need in my senior year. Because I was like, oh, I'm a senior, I'm moving 12 years away, I need to make sure we're on good terms, I need to make sure we're on good terms, I need to make sure you like me, I need to make sure I'm leaving with a good aura and no one's going to be mad, I'm not going to hold on to any grudges. And that, it's pointless. Like, people will love you, people will hate you, and people will have their opinions about you, and there's no sense in you worrying about it and making sure, like, your last year here, you're on good terms with everyone because it's just never gonna happen as much as you want it to. And I think I would regret, like, I would not try so hard next time. Like, your friends will come, you will make connections, and that's how it's gonna be. And But other than that, I've loved, other than, like, that and this whole getting a short thing, what I had in my senior year was probably my favorite year of high school. Thank you for the connections with all, like, everyone. Like, literally. Literally. Like, she talks to everybody. Like, literally, probably, like, a couple of my friends, like, I literally met through Diana. Yeah. Because she knows everyone, and, like, she's just, like, she gets everyone together, she makes everyone have fun, and she's like, Hey, we're all hanging out. Let's go. And we're like, okay. And there's like five new people that nobody knows, and it's like it's always fun. Yeah, that's so. so true. Yeah, just thank you for letting me be there for you. Because before, I didn't really know how to talk to one. I still meet a lot. I really do. But we know how to talk to each other. So thank you for that. Welcome to home every time. It's been since New Parish. Since. Ew, why did I have to cry? Ew! <laughs> There's something about you that it's weird because we're like sisters and I have other friends, you have other friends, but for some reason we've always had that connection um, and it's not through dance, you know? Like we met through dance, but our connection is not through dance. And we were always worried. We always said that when I graduated high school, I would wait a year and we would move to 
Paris together and go to college together and get a dorm together. Um, and it's, I just want to say thank you for being a part of my family and, you know, allowing me to be the type of person I am. Literally, we walk around halfway naked with each other, go to the bathroom together, like, we've done everything together, and, um, I just, I didn't want to say thank you, too, and I wouldn't, like, we wouldn't be close without you, and I would not know the people I know if it wasn't for you, and... I just try to imagine the CEO without, like, being yeah, yeah. ever been like, here. And it'd be, com it'd, it'd be complete, it'd be different. Last thing for me, just a uh, thank you to the co every coach, parents, um, basically everyone involved with the studio. Thank you mm -hmm. because y'all have made it. Y'all have made these past um, eight years of my life the most fun and the most memorable mm -hmm. and enjoyable time of my life. And I can't be more thankful for anyone involved than everyone. Else. I would not probably want to dance still if it wasn't for you guys. Um, I've been through so many coaches, so many teachers. It, it's insane. I've met so many new people that have come and go throughout the studio. And you two and mom and even Justice and Jamari and Jess um, have really shaped me into the type of person that I am today with dance styles, with dance ability, with confidence, with sticking up for myself, with making a name for myself, putting myself out there. It's all turned me into the type of person that I am today. And I just wanna to say thank you guys a lot for that.